Andrew McCart, IFL TV and Association with MTK Global. I'm here at MTK Scotland, Jim. With me I've got David Brophy. Uh, good Christmas, good New Year, might as well start with that. Very good, I enjoyed yeah. it. Enjoyed it too much. Uh, everyone says the same thing, eh? Yeah. So, let's just jump straight into it, mate. 2019, you said you wanted your hands on that British title. Is that yep. still a goal of yours coming into this year? Um, I'm hoping so. We, we speak to Danny and that. Hopefully, hopefully we can get some momentum with that stuff. Um, I know there's a few good shows on this year, obviously the first one in March, so just uh, got to sit down with Danny and we got a wee, a wee chat about what's happening, what the options are, but it's a fight that I would be I would be looking forward to and um, looking for this year, hopefully they can make it happen. And, see, when you look at the, the, the rankings in Britain, like, you've got Zach Barker, is he still the British title? Yeah, he is. Zach right. Barker, mm -hmm. you think he's going to, he'll take the fight with you? Is, is that an easy fight to make? I think he would, I, I think especially the way I'm thinking about with the Super Series being here mm -hmm. with Josh Taylor, um, he's he's uh, managed with the, the Sutherlands, he's promoted mm -hmm. with the Sutherlands, I'm Scottish, you know what I mean, it sells itself. Um, he's a good fighter, Zach Parker, he's a very good fighter, um, so it's got all the recipe for a good fight. Um, the rankings are close, mm -hmm. he's obviously in the world rank, I'm kind of went out of the top 10 world rankings now, I think I'm sitting 12 or something with WBA, but um, it's got the recipe for all the good fights, for a, for a good fight, so I think it makes sense, especially if he's going to come to Scotland to fight. I'm Scottish and sell tickets here. Well, you're, you're a very good ticket seller. Um, the talking about, we're talking about the World Boxing Super Series with Josh, that's looking like it's going to be in May. Right. If that fight can be made for May, would you not fight on, in March? Um, well, on the 22nd? I think you need to keep uh, momentum when your mm. fights, you know what I mean? But um, it's something that we need to sit down about. There's a few, a few things um, a few things that need to be addressed first, you know what I mean? So I'll sit down with Danny and uh, the team and have a wee chat about it. But as I say, it's, it's a fight it's, it's a fight I would look forward to, but a fight I think people would like. I say Zach Park is a good fighter, but um, I'm a good fighter too, so I think it would be a good fight. I, ho I hope you don't mind me saying this, but your last two fights have been against opponents that probably yeah. haven't got you up for it, haven't yeah. got you the bit between your teeth, yeah. you know what I mean, have, probably really make you train hard, probably, I don't yeah. know. So, going at this year, are you looking for somebody that's going to make you train hard, make you go that extra that I extra 10%? I think so, I mean, the last two opponents, we had a lot of, lot of uh, problems with injuries and that, so mm. it was about just getting back in the ring and getting it done with a, with a lot of injuries, a lot of shoulder injuries and stuff, so... Um, as I say, we got, they got the cobwebs off after the defeat to Rocky Field, you know what I mean? Um, but I do think the better the better fighter I fight, the better I get. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like going to Australia and stuff like that. Um, so the better the better the opponent, the better I become, the fitter I become, the more you the more you get hungry for them, the better you train. You know what I mean? The more you want it. It's hard to get yourself up for somebody which doesn't want to fight you, you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. hard to fight somebody that doesn't want to fight you. Um, so I do agree, I have somebody's there to, to take something away for you, then you try harder, you train harder, you want it more. Um, if somebody's there just to pick up a wage, then you know the score before you get into the fight. You're just going to turtle up in there and just make you look bad, I suppose. Of course, eh? I just to maybe try and get a headbutt in and then maybe <laughs> stop it early. Uh, well, you say you sit down with Danny, you have a word with Danny on what, how to progress with your, your career and all the, and whatnot, but so has, is there a few names that you've been, you've been offered or you've, um, been, you've, you've asked Danny to, to get? Well, I just, see, see, to be honest, I've always done the same, I just do what I'm told, you know what I mean, if Danny tells me this is what's kind of happening and um, I've been always been the same with MTK, they've always been very good to me and um, so you'll it, give me options, I always get options, it's always like this is, this is what you're doing, they always give you options, we always kind of pick the best one. Mm -hmm. um, Whatever happens, happens at the end of the day. So, they say it's a big year, it's just it's a wee bit of confusing year to see what's going to be happening next. Um, but I've got to say it's never let me down yet, so I'm sure it'll work out and I'll, I'll work out for the best. Well, you, you're obviously you can get kept busy because uh, obviously T MTK have got what, six shows in six yep. weeks coming up, starting on February the 15th. Yep. So, were you, are you going to fight maybe in Belfast, Manchester? Of course. Your call if, of course. if, if it was offered to you? Yeah, I, I don't mind going away, you know I mean? It's, it's great to, I've got a following support and I, mean, I took people to Australia with me <laughs> as far as, but um, I, I'd like the idea it gets a wee away day for my, for my mates and stuff, you know what I mean? So, I would, I would, fight, I would fight anywhere they, they tell me, they say it's beneficial. These are, these are crucial years for me, you know what I mean? 20, I've just come up for 29, so it's crucial they years. Look at, you know, I look boss, I look boss, <laughs> But um, uh, it's, it's crucial years, and so it's big years, especially this big year. Big years so. or big years? <laughs> You're a bastard. Fuck it, I'll play. So it's big years here, yeah. so um, I need to, need to make the right, right decisions at the right times. Mm -hmm. and 
it, it could set you up for, for the rest of your life, you know what I mean? I'm, I don't really want to fight till I'm 40 and 30, 36, 37, you know what I mean? Um, so, from a health point of view, I don't want to be doing that. So I want to, I want to make the best of these years what I can, and I'm in the right team, I've got MTK behind me. I mean, I've got Bally, he's a good trainer, but I mean, so I always keep myself fat, I always keep trying to keep myself in half, half decent shape, you know what I mean? So I think it's, I think it's important to do that at this, this stage of your career, and as I say, this year is all work out for the best, I'm, I'm sure it will. Well, you mentioned there that you don't want to be fighting until you're, you're 40 and that, so you've just got your own gym now, you've taken That's over Billy's gym and started, you've made it your That's own right. sort of thing. Is coaching in that? Would you go into the coaching side of things? Um, I probably wouldn't get into coaching for professional coaching, no, I wouldn't. But as you say, I've got a great following in my gym, and I've got people there week in, week out. I've got a big personal training business, you know what I mean? So it's something to fall back on. I'm always going to be into my fitness. But I'm not, this isn't one foot out of the door, me doing this gym, you know what I mean? It's just landed on my lap. This isn't me having a foot out of the door for boxing. Right. It's, just, it's just happening, you know what I mean? So, and it works in well with what I'm doing with, with mm -hmm. my own training, you know what I mean? I'm self-employed and do what I want. I've got my own gym now. Um, so it's good, I'm in a good position. I feel very lucky and I feel very thankful for it. Um, I've, got, I've got a good following in my classes and stuff like that. So um, it's something to fall back on after boxing, but as I say, I've still got... Um, that, that knowledge to pass down to some young kids, bring them through the ranks, no, amateur, no, Scottish no, champion, British champion, no, the professional. Nobody likes to talk to me. Nobody likes <laughs> to talk to me, but, um, but maybe we'll see what happens. As I say, my old arms are come to four aisles, mm -hmm. so... That was the only club in Britain, but, um, never done with premises, so I kinda I kinda made sure at a point to make sure mm -hmm. they had they can use my premises now. So they have, for the first time in their life they've got the name above oh, the nice. door and and stuff like that. It's never never been had they, they, they don't need to put the bags up and down every night, so mm -hmm. so um I've just dealt well with that. Um hopefully hopefully it brings out a nice champion and um, with the better facilities and the more time in their hands and so hopefully that brings you to the next one, that, that would, that's why I don't need it much. Oh, there you go then. Hey, we, again, before I let you go, you, you mentioned there that you, you filled out the world rankings. Let's just jump ahead 12 months. You fight Zach Barker, you become British champion. Where do you go from there? Um, as I say, it's... Are you, it's a, are you one of them guys that would like to defend it three times, win it outright, or...? I would, I, would, I would like to keep that belt, of course. I would like to win it. That's that's my main objective. I don't look past too, too many... Um, possible ideas, you know what I mean, but um, I want to win it first and then, then you've got the options open, then you can sit down, then you can sit down and plan a wee, uh, the year ahead or the next few fights ahead, whatever comes upon, upon you, you know what I mean, like you could offer something big in America, you, could, you just don't know what's going to happen, but my priority now is getting the fight, you know, dealing with the fight and then um, we can take it from there, but um, aye, so just one step at a time, I always try to keep my head in the head, uh, Head my shoulders and keep my feet in the ground. Good stuff. Well, what's the, the plan for the rest of the day then? Going back to the gym? I'm back to the gym and I'm working the day and I'm training again the night and then I'm going to go and get Nando's. I've got a Nando's. I've got a shit. Even Brophy plays for Kilmarnock. You know, he's, he? <laughs> he's not. He's not got big ears. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was funny. I was having a laugh at him on Twitter, obviously because Billy's a Rangers fan and yeah. and uh, they scored against him. So I was winding him up on Twitter a bit. But no, he's, he's, as far as I know, he's not a day with me because uh, every every Brophy in my family's got big ears. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I had to ask. I had to ask. Uh, well, thanks for this for FL TV. And uh, honestly, I wish you good luck with with March if it comes along and uh, catch up with you soon. Thanks, mate. Good to see you.